Hi, Kel Kellogg of the Fish Sniffer Magazine here. Over the last couple years, I've written a great deal about hybrid lead core outfits. Now, back in the old days, guys used to use big giant reels for the lead core line to troll for trout. That was the only way you could get down. What I've been doing is I'm using a lot lighter outfit. I'm using a Vance's Kokanee rod teamed with an Abu Garcia 5500 line counter reel. And here's what my rig looks like. I've got about 20 feet of 17 pound test fluorocarbon line. I've got that tipped with a standard fluorocarbon leader coming off a trolling swivel. But here's the interesting part. That 20 or 17 pound fluorocarbon is connected to three colors of lead core and behind that I've got about 300 yards of 20 pound braided line. Let me show you how this looks when it goes out. So we'll zoom in on that. There goes the fluorocarbon. We'll let that flow out behind the boat. Now there we're into the lead core, but we're only going to have we only have the three colors of lead core. Let's get that going there. So there we are. There's the junction of the lead core and the braid. Now I can put out. I know using the line counter how many feet of braid I've got out. And using this rig, I can get down as deep as 27 feet. I know that because I've snagged the bottom, went back to get the rig out of the rocks, and it's 27 feet deep where I'm snagged. So that's pretty a uh, pretty amazing depth with a light lead core outfit like this. And once I've got my line out, I back off the drag, I put on the clicker, and boy, when you catch a fish and that clicker screams, it is quite a thrill. It's really convenient. If the fish are in the top 30 feet of water, I don't mess with my downriggers. I break out my lead core. And when I catch a fish on this, I've got a nice, light, responsive rod to fight the trout on. It's awesome. It works well. I use it for rolling shad, trolling spoons, just about anything.